In the heart of an old town stands an ancient church, a place where time seems to have stood still. Its Gothic architecture, aged by centuries, whispers tales of eras past. Towering spires pierce the sky, their shadows casting an eerie shroud over the hallowed ground. Stained glass windows, the colors muted by dust and time, depict scenes of faith, devotion and divine intervention. Cobwebs veil the corners, while the stone floor echoes the footfalls of unseen visitors. In the midst of this antiquity, the faint scent of old parchment and ink lingers in the air, a testament to the countless prayers and sermons that have echoed within these sacred walls. Among these ancient tomes, a mysterious discovery has been made, a secret kept untouched until now. An old book, its pages yellowed and brittle, held an unexpected secret, a key old as the church itself, hidden between its pages. But in this place of prayer and peace, a mystery has been unearthed, a key hidden in an old book. The key, old and rusty, lay hidden in a dusty, forgotten book. Nestled between the worn pages of an ancient tome, it lay concealed, waiting for discovery. Its metal body, tarnished by the passage of time, still held the promise of a secret waiting to be unlocked. This wasn't just any book, it was a centuries-old Bible, a relic once cherished, but now forgotten in the church's deepest vaults. The pages were thick with age, their edges frayed, a testament to the countless hands that once turned them. And then there was the note. Scrawled hastily in the margin of a page, it held a cryptic message. To unlock the truth, seek the light in darkness. The words danced on the page, a riddle wrapped in an enigma, a tantalizing hint at the purpose of the hidden key. Who could have left this key here? And more importantly, what does it open? The church is not without its regulars. Could one of them hold the secret? Let's delve into the curious lives of our first set of suspects. In the quiet corners of the ancient church we find the old caretaker. With a lifetime spent in the shadows of the hallowed halls, he knows every nook and cranny. But does he also know the secret of the hidden key? Then there's the quiet priest. His serene demeanor and devout faith mask a keen intellect. He's been a pillar of the community for decades. Could his intimate knowledge of the church and its history hide something more sinister? Finally, we have the mysterious historian, a frequent visitor. Her fascination with the church's past is no secret, but is her interest purely academic or does she harbor ulterior motives? Each of them had access and could have hidden the key, but why? Stay tuned as we unravel this enigma in the heart of the ancient church. Among the cobwebs and the echoes of the past, more clues are waiting to be discovered. As we delve deeper into the heart of the ancient church, the enigma continues to unravel. In the dim light filtering through the stained glass windows, a hidden inscription is revealed on the church floor. The words, weathered by time, almost lost to the naked eye, read, Beneath the cross, salvation lies. But what salvation could this be referring to? Is it spiritual or could it be something more tangible, perhaps a treasure buried deep within the hallowed grounds of the church? Our attention then shifts back to the old key, found hidden within a dusty book. Upon closer inspection, a mysterious symbol is revealed on the key. A cross, similar to the one found in the church, intertwined with a serpent. Could this be a coincidence, or is it a sign pointing us towards the truth? Now let's return to our suspects. The old church caretaker, the quiet librarian, and the mysterious stranger who recently moved to town. Each one of them has a connection to the church, and each could have a reason to hide a secret. Could the inscription and the symbol on the key be a message left by one of these suspects? Or is there another player in this game we're yet to discover? The caretaker, who knows every nook and cranny of the church, could have easily hidden the key. The librarian, with her vast knowledge of ancient symbols and inscriptions, might have left the message on the church floor, or perhaps the stranger whose past is shrouded in mystery has a secret connection to the church and the hidden key. Each clue, each piece of evidence, brings us one step closer to unravelling the secret of the church. The ancient inscription, the symbol on the key, the suspects, they are all pieces of a puzzle waiting to be solved. But the mystery is far from over. There are still secrets left to uncover, truths left to unearth. The pieces of the puzzle are falling into place, but the mystery is far from solved. As the final pieces slot together, the secret of the key is finally revealed. In this grand tapestry of mystery, each thread we've followed has been a clue, leading us to a truth that was hidden in plain sight. Each suspect, each shadowy corner of the ancient church 
has played its part in the unraveling of this enigma. And now the full picture emerges, as clear as the morning sun breaking through the stained glass windows of the church. The key, that seemingly innocuous object hidden within the dusty pages of an old book was not just a key, oh no, it was the gateway to a secret that has slumbered in the heart of the church for centuries. It was the key to a hidden crypt, a crypt that has held its breath, waiting for the day when the lock would turn and its secret would be revealed. As the key turned in the lock, the crypt creaked open, revealing a sight that would make the most hardened treasure hunter's heart skip a beat. A treasure, a cache of priceless relics gleaming in the dim light of the crypt, untouched by human hands for centuries. But who could have hidden such a treasure? Who would have had the audacity, the cunning to conceal the key in such a manner? The answer was right in front of us all along. The historian, a man of letters, a man of knowledge, was the mastermind behind this elaborate ruse, a man who knew the secrets of the past and used them to his advantage. He hid the key, hoping to claim the treasure for himself, to keep the past locked away for his own gain. But the past has a way of revealing itself, just as the truth has a way of coming to light. The secret of the key, the mystery of the church, has been unveiled, leaving us in awe of the intricate dance of history and mystery. Like and subscribe for more enchanting mysteries.